Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I wanted to start this video by just kind of letting you know my thought process. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna decorate this envelope, and I'm intending it to be inside of a journal. And I was inspired by Diane from Shabby Sparkly Crafts. Um, she posted this just beautiful envelope that she did. Um, in a Facebook group, but I'm going to put a link to her video, I mean to her YouTube, where hopefully she'll have a video sharing the envelope because it's just so pretty. But she recycled like a, you know, a, a junk mail envelope. I'm just using an envelope out of my stash. And I am using my favorite kit by Doreen because I have been working with other kits, which I've enjoyed. But <laughs> this is my first love, so I am going to do it. So I'm going to use the postcard kit. Um, from Pink Parfait Cafe. Isn't it beautiful? It's just absolutely gorgeous. This is one of the papers from the kit that I'm going to use as a background paper. And then I got these beautiful. These are some of my favorite images from the kit. Love, love, love. And then I also printed this out, which I realize I have a lot to work with here and my envelope is small, so it'll be <laughs> It'll be a good time. And then I just love these. These are so sweet. So that's what I'm going to use. And so what I'm going to do off camera so I don't bore you to tears is I'm going to go ahead and cut all of the pieces out. I'm probably going to ink around every bit of it. And most of it I will actually go ahead and sew around. So when you come back, I will have all of that done. Or not when you come back. When I come back, I'll have all of that done. I'll clean up the mess that just spilled on my floor. And I will also get my pile of Angel Dream Crafts goodies out to play with. So I'll be right back and let's craft. All right, so I had the best intentions of inking and then sewing. But that turned into um, using my gold leafing pin and some stickles because I was inspired by the gold around these little cups. And I was like, yes. And then I remembered I had one of these gold leaf pins. So I did a border around almost everything. And of course the stickles are still wet. So I'm going to stick my finger in it. <laughs> That's what I do. I just can't wait. So I did go around the edge of everything with the gold leaf pin. I just love it. And then I also went around like some of these cups and some frames and let me see where i can i this one right here i'm trying to be careful because everything's still wet i also went lightly you know down uh followed the lines on this isn't that pretty i love the gold leafing and then the stickles friends yes i decided to do uh use the diamond because it has some gold flecks in it i don't know if you're going to be able to see that actually I don't think so, but I thought it would go so good with the gold leafing. Aren't these beautiful? So I wanted to show you, I decided we're not inking and sewing, we're gold leafing and stickling. <laughs> and I love it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna let this dry because I will mess it all up. And I didn't stickle everything. I have some pieces I didn't stickle, but I did use the gold leafing on all the edges and I just, Love it. So I'll be back when this is dry and we'll get started on the next step. Hi friends. So um, I went ahead and decorated the envelope. Look at this image. Isn't it gorgeous? And I used my gold leaf pin around the edges and I covered this side and the inside that you would be able to see. Um, that way I thought we could decorate it together, but uh, I have a headache and I have just had a headache for two days. So what I think I'm going to do is uh, just film myself working on it and then do a voiceover. Um, that's just how I'm going to have to do it. <laughs> but I did make some pretty pieces to go in here. And maybe after we get it all decorated um, on another day, I can just walk through it uh, with you when my headache's gone. So let's get to decorating. 
All right, friends, so I did just go through and decorate this with you. And then if you don't want to watch me doing that, you can go to, I think it's around timestamp 24, where I show you the finished uh, envelope and I, and I go through all the things that I did. So uh, thank you for joining me.
All right, so I'm feeling much better, thank you. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed watching me uh, put, the, put it together. Uh, of course, I made way too many embellishments and got really way too many things, and I'm probably gonna redo some of this, but I'll show you as we go along. Uh, what I used and what I'll probably change before I get it into the journal. So, of course, I hung these beautiful, oh, look at these, and she has these in white too, but these are the pink, um, uh, these, this beaded trim from Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy, which you will find a link to her shop below. Just gorgeous, and it goes so perfectly with the Pink Parfait Cafe kit from Ooh La La Vintage Treasures, which you also find the link to below. So let me just show you what I did with my little envelope. And I used my, I showed you how I've been using this. I'm in love with this. I'm putting the gold leaf on all the things. It just goes so well with this kit. So here I put this beautiful lace from Kim. I still have my pile over here. So let me show you. This is what I used for the background behind this piece. And then I snippied, snippity snipped up this one. And this one, to make this little collaged bit right here, I use this beautiful bling piece from Kim's shop. Just gorgeous. And then I just put a fabric ribbon around that. Look at that image, it's so adorable. And so this just comes out so you can journal on the pieces. And I thought about like collaging on there and I don't know, it might be something that I still do but I kind of like the idea of just leaving it so that you can write to your heart's content but we'll see <laughs> we'll see how that progresses as I work more on the journal so in the pockets is probably what I'm going to change um, right now I have like this little scrappy pad which is so stinking cute and these are bits uh, from this and this and then this little leaf trim I do not have a lot of that left do I have any I don't know there's just a big pile of gorgeous angel dream craft bits over here and I don't I feel like I might have a couple of leaves left somewhere but I love this trim love doesn't make those beautiful leaves so there's this little scrappy pad so cute and I'm I'm thinking it's gonna go somewhere else in the journal. I'm probably not in this envelope. And then I have the two postcard tags. So cute. And this one actually is um, a paper clip. Isn't it so sweet? With this fun stuff from Kim's shop. I love, and I love how all Doreen's kits have bows. <laughs> yes, please so cute and then here is this one which is just beautiful with some collaged bits down here some lace and another um fussy cut from the kit but i'm thinking these probably aren't going to go in here either what i think i want to make is like a big journaling card that is the same size as the envelope that maybe has a big bow right here so that's probably what i'm gonna do there um, this is the flap that's going to be attached in the book. And then when you go this way, I just love it. It's so cute. This fun trim right here. Do I have any more of that? I'm sure I do. Is this. And I love because it like has this middle section where it's like, please put some rhinestone cup chain down the middle. So I did. <laughs> and it's so, so cute. And then I created this pocket with this beautiful lace from Kim's store. Love this lace. And then I am having the best time cutting this lace and using the bits off of it because it also has these hearts. I love it. So that is what is here with another piece of this, which is turning out to be one of my favorite snippety snip trims, I have to say. And then going down the edge, I have this trim from angel dream crafts also love and then in this pocket are some cards from doreen's kit isn't that so sweet i just love these so much so those are just tucked in there and then here is the image on the back love it so much and i probably will leave these in here it's just cute right it's just cute oh and 
let's see what what was this here for <laughs> I also created this but it's probably going to go somewhere else in the journal because I feel like this has enough going on but I made this little cuteness look at this, this is one of my favorite images from the kit and I used again this little butterfly looks like a little butterfly lace trim with some of the pink bridal trim which is always my favorite to snip up the bridal trims and then oh wait I just saw that leaf trim I was looking for earlier here it is this is what that looks like and I just cut off the little leaves it's so cute but anyway that is on a little tiny glassine bag and then I just put like a little journaling bit was which was uh, scrap I had left over from Doreen's kit and it just goes in there but I'm probably going to pin that somewhere else because like I said there's just there's so much going on here and I made way too many things for this little project so the rest of those things are going to go in the journal and I will share them with you later so please leave me a comment and let me know what you think and I am going to put a link to all the designers on Doreen's team and all of the designers on Kim's team and there is just in um endless inspiration to be found there so be sure you go over and check them out and follow the links to the etsy stores to get your hands on these beauties and i will see you guys on the next one bye everybody